Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkol Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to answer a mostly asked question on which web hosting platform I host my websites. And I'm going to share details like how many websites I have hosted under one hosting plan, what is the performance I'm getting from that plan, and I'm going to compare the pricing with some other hosting platforms that are really good, but comparing the pricing and performance, why I chose Hostinger. So please watch this video if you are confused about getting a cheap but best hosting platform. This video will help you become clear. So as you can see, I have got one hosting plan on Hostinger business shared hosting. And so far I have already hosted nine websites. Now let me show you the performance of few of the websites. So you might already know that one of the websites that I have got hosted under this hosting plan is learners.world. So I'm going to copy this from here. After that, I'm going to make a checkup here on GT metrics to show you the data. So let me click on test your site. It is going to analyze the website speed, performance, structure, and every stuffs. And it is going to show us result like how many seconds it is taking to load our website hosted on Hostinger and some other details, right? So just take a look, analyze with Lighthouse. So after that, it is going to generate the report and then it will show us the report. All right, just take a look. The performance raise is 93%. Now, if I take you a little down, you are going to find I have got some optimization issues on my website. These are the responsibilities which I have to take. But if you just take a look, the website loading speed is only two seconds and the performance is a grade with 93%. Now let me check one of my portfolio website, which is, um, let me show you, Rafi. I'm going to copy this and let me click on test your site. Okay, just take a look, 99% performance, 99% structure as I have built it with myself uh, by using Elementor. And if you just take a look at the loading speed, 1.3 second, can you imagine? I'm getting like 1.3 seconds loading speed of this website and with a cheap hosting plan. So now what I'd love to do, I'd love to show you how much it uh, cost me to get this hosting plan. So I'm going to payment history. And if I take you here, just take a look. I have started using Hostinger since November 25th, 2020, and the price was like 191 US dollars. And if you just take a look, I registered this hosting plan for 48 months, and the total cost was this, but I got it with some discounts, which you might going to get as well. I'm going to attach my invitation link into the video description, which will obviously be my affiliate link. So you might going to be able to save some money as well by using that link and I'll get some commission without adding any ex extra cost to you. Okay, so just take a look at discount of 602 and I have got this plan for 48 months, three years for 192 US dollars. Okay, now let me just talk about some other hosting plat platforms that I have used. I'm going to compare the pricing now. I have used Bluehost. Before I started using Hostinger, I used to use Bluehost. And also I used SiteGround and Kinsta. So Bluehost, the performance was really good for me. I was happy, but when I found Hostinger, I just compared the pricing and I thought, why shouldn't I try Hostinger? Then I came to Hostinger and I'm loving it. And after that, SiteGround. SiteGround is one of the best hosting platform compared, uh, if you consider the shared hosting. And only one thing that you should consider about SiteGround, the pricing is little higher than Bluehost and Hostinger. But the customer support and website performance speed, everything's really super high on uh, SiteGround. And after that, we have got this premium plan which is Kinsta if you just notice the starting pick is starting from 30 US dollars so I have used this hosting plan for my clients website and the performance are like mind-blowing so if you have got good budget and if you have got a big website you can move with Kinsta which is going to uh, worth the money all right so now if I just simply compare the pricing of these hosting plans just take a look 
so as as you can see here the plan i am currently using is business shared hosting and as of now the this one actually so five us dollars per month you have to pay and by paying five us dollars you'll be able to host 100 websites under one single hosting plan and so far i have hosted nine websites and the performance is quite fine then we have got this storage these monthly visits and we are going to get free email free ssl free domain google ads cr credits and many more features you are going to get um, if you just take a look here okay so this one which i'm using but you can even try this one or if you want more cheaper then you can try this one but only issue with this package is you'll be able to host on the one website okay now let's talk about the bluehost i really enjoyed their service but the price is little higher than hostinger so i left them and i joined hostinger and i'm really enjoying hostinger platform just take a look with basic plan you'll be able to host one website and the price is going to be 2.95 and if you want to host multiple websites unlimited website you can go with these plans uh, 5.45 and actually i used this one choice plus 5.45 i was really happy with their service i just moved from Bluehost to Hostinger just because of the pricing. Okay, now let's talk about the pricing of this platform, which is SiteGround. Uh, this is one of the best, I would say, if you think from this perspective of shared hosting, SiteGround's hosting and the performance is really, really great. So it is not being loaded. So here we go. Their starting plan is for US dollars, and you'll be able to host one website for four US dollars per month. And then here we have got few options like free CDN, free email, free SSL, and they might going to give you one domain name as well, but I'm not seeing it added here. And here we go. We have got grow big. This one is a quite good hosting plan. If you go with, you are going to get enough performance if you use this platform. Okay. Or this plan. Okay. So these are the, actually the pricing uh, scenarios here. If you, if you are thinking about cheap but best hosting plan that i would suggest you to go with hostinger but if you are thinking about dedicated and high performance from your uh, website visitors or website loads i would suggest you to go with site ground from the mid-range and if you have got a big website where like few hundreds of traffics are going to come into your website then i would suggest you to go with kinsta okay so this was it guys i was about to show you which hosting uh, hosting service i am using currently and how much i have been paying and how many websites i have got hosted on their platform uh, this kind of information so i believe you have got some uh, value from this website because i have shown or actually from this video i have shown the performance report of um, hostinger already where i have got nine websites hosted but you just take a look at the performance report of the websites so i believe i found this video informative and it will help you choose a cheap but best web hosting for your website and if you found this video helpful please give this video a like and if you've got any further question please feel free to ask me and uh, by commenting below and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos like this one thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye